will be for your neck and your shoulders. So we'll get started. We're gonna start on our backs. So resting on your back, allow the shoulders to tuck, shoulder blades to tuck in and under. Let those arms release off to the side and allow your neck to be loose and relaxed. Let the chin soften towards your chest and let the legs drop heavy into the hips. You can always drop the knees in towards each other. Let it be a little more quieting in the legs, in the, in the pelvic floor. And just begin to observe the movement of the breath with every inhale. Let the breath move into the bottom lungs. Allow that space to expand and spread. And with the exhale, let the bottom ribs soften back in and down towards the floor. So inhaling, expanding through the bottom ribs. And with the exhale, let the bottom ribs soften back in, soften back down. And just take some bigger, deeper inhales, bigger, deeper exhales, or bigger, longer exhales. bring your feet back to parallel, the heels more in line with your sit bones, and then we'll take the arms up and back. And as the arms move up and back, imagine your shoulder blades moving down the back. You can even press your feet into the floor, kind of scrub yourself back to reach the arms. Notice I'm lifting my hips a little to get that action. And then release the arms back alongside the body. Inhale, reach those arms up and back. Get that reach of the arms but imagine the back flesh of the body is moving towards your heels and then release the arms back down keep the neck loose as you move the arms just a simple action and of course if you have any pain or discomfort you may want to take your arms wider or not go quite as far you just take it before you feel And then from here, we're gonna add our bridge. So walk your heels a little closer to your bottom. Get those shoulder blades to tuck in a little bit more. You wanna feel this lift of the armpit chest. And then again, we'll take the arms up and back, push the heels as you lift the hips, and then release the arms, release the hips back down. Inhale, reach the arms up and back. And exhale, release the arms, release the hips. And just move at the pace of your own breath. And then we'll take one more. just rest for a moment. Observe how the body feels. We often just keep moving on to the next thing. I want you to take a few breaths here. Just observe how the spine feels, the hips, the shoulders, the neck. And then we'll draw the right knee in towards the chest. So you'll grab behind the back of the right knee, extend your left leg long, and pull the right knee back. Imagine the right knee crease moving back towards your forehead, the hip crease moving forward towards your left foot. And again, give yourself a breath or two to really soften into it. See if the leg can relax a little bit deeper and try to keep the work out of the shoulders. Let them drop, let the heaviness of the arms do the work here. And then we'll switch. We'll take the other side, grab behind the back of the thigh, push out through your right heel, rooting that right thigh down and away and left hip crease moves towards your right heel, left knee crease moving back. And then we'll 
will hug both knees in towards the chest. And hug the knees in. If you can wrap your forearms around the backs of your thighs, you get a little bit deeper. You can pull your forehead towards your knees, your knees towards your forehead. And then release back down once again. And we'll take the arms wide. Arms expand, shoulders stay grounded to the floor, pressing the backs of the hands down. Keep the shoulders rooted down. You're gonna pull your tail up towards the ceiling. So you wanna get lots of activation in the core. Try to keep the knees as close together as you can. We'll pull the knees up and over to the right elbow and then back through the center, up and over to the left elbow. Maybe even the left underarm if you can. And back through the center to the other side. Again, just move at your own pace. Keep the shoulders rooted down as you move. Try to squeeze the knees in. You can always bring something between the knees if it's really hard to keep the knees together. And you may find that shoulder lifted. I want you to keep it down as you shift side to side. Move at your own pace. Again, you may start to shivvy, shimmy down your mat a bit as you move. And then we'll bring it back to the center and let those arms relax, let the feet relax again. And notice, did your hip flexors really grip up? Let them actively soften, release. Imagine them dropping towards the floor. Imagine the belly softening, releasing with every exhale. Oftentimes we think we need to stretch everything and work everything harder, but a lot of times it's overworked and we just need to let them soften and relax a bit. All right, and then from here, we're going to uh, roll over to your side and press yourself back up to sitting. So when you come to sitting, crossing the legs at the shins. You can also sit in a chair. If that's more comfortable, you can get a longer spine that way. A more lifted spine. So from here with the sits bones grounded, find that you are on the tallest or where you are tallest on your sits bones. Imagine the side waist lifting away from the pelvis. The armpit chest draws upwards and let the shoulders soften away from the ears. I want you to think of your collarbones and imagine the collarbones are held up by strings with helium balloons attached to them. Imagine those collarbones lengthening upwards and then let the shoulders, let the weight of the arms drop heavy. So with the inhale, the inner body lifts, lengthening from those collarbones upwards with your imaginary helium balloons. And with the exhale, letting the arms, letting the flesh of the body soften down. And then from here, we're gonna take our left ear to the left shoulder. You'll drop the ear down. Use your left hand to gently press. Keeping the sternum lifting. Imagine those collarbones still extending upwards as you gently press. You can even rock the head a little bit if that gets into little different stretch points that feel like they need a little stretch. We'll lift the head back to the center and release the arm. Roll out through the shoulders a little bit, keeping the torso long and lifted. Notice if you started to drop into your old habits. Find the lift, find those collarbones extending up. We'll take the right ear to the right shoulder. You can use the right hand to gently press. Again, you can rock the head a little bit, get into different stretch points that you may feel. Need a little extra love. And then lift the head back to the 
the center. Again, let those shoulders relax. We're gonna take the hands as high as the collarbones, pull the elbows back to open up through the chest, and then slide the hands forward. Again, pull it back, open up the chest, then slide it forward. Again, keep your neck loose. Notice if you start to really tense and everything starts to grip. That's what the opposite of what we're trying to do here. So keeping that awareness, the softening of the neck, the jaw. And then take those arms out to the side. Lift the elbows high, drop the shoulders down. We're gonna drop the left hand down. So like a little scarecrow action here. And then lift it back up and drop your right hand down. And it's fine to let this shoulder kind of curve forward a little bit. We're just seeing what kind of range of movement you have. You don't have to force anything. Probably feels pretty awkward. Imagine those shoulders dropping away from the neck. Notice where any tension moves to. It's usually the uh, usual suspects we start to grip up <laughs> where we hold a lot of our tension and stress. Take that uh, left hand one more time Good. and then let the arms relax. Again, find the lift of the sternum, the shoulder blade softening down. And then we'll switch the crossing of the legs if you're sitting cross-legged. Torso's long. We'll take the left hand back behind, bring that right hand to the outside of the left knee. With the inhale, torso lifts. With the exhale, turn. Try to keep this hip grounded, turn from your waist, then the bottom ribs, then the shoulders, and then the head, if at all. That neck is already pretty flexible for most of us, so kind of get that twist through the spine. And then back to the center, and we'll take the other side. With the inhale, keeping the lift, you wanna create length first, and then find how deep you can move into the twist. Outer left hip stays grounded, turn from the waist, the bottom ribs, then the shoulders and the chest. Observe if you can still breathe. You always wanna let that breath guide you. If you feel like you're holding it, you've gone too far. And then release, back to the center. We're gonna take the hands, you'll clasp the hands together and just rest them behind the head. Elbows out to the side. And anytime you take the arms up, you want to be careful that you're not using your upper back strength here. Let the shoulders soften. Keep space in the neck. The hands are just to help support our head. And then we're going to pull the elbows back and bring your gaze up towards the ceiling and then bring it back to a neutral spine. So not a big movement for most of us, just lifting upwards. You don't have to take the head back. It's more of a chest opener, the shoulder work, keeping the gaze lifted upwards and then back to the center. All right, we'll take one more here. And then again, release those arms, let them rest, let the shoulders soften. And then we'll drop the chin towards the chest, releasing the chin down. Imagine the torso long and lifted, the flesh of the buttocks releasing down to keep your low back long. And then we'll rock the right uh, left ear to the left shoulder. And then release the chin back to the chest, right ear to right shoulder. Chin to the chest to the other side. Just keep rocking, moving gently side to side. And you'll finish on that right side. And chin to the chest, lifting the head back up. All right, and then from here, I want you to think about your forward head. So many of us, uh, especially if you've been inundated with information about everything that's going on now, we're all stuck on our phones or we hunch forward. So think of your forward head action. We're gonna drop our chin just a little bit and then slide the chin back. Let the shoulders soften. We wanna bring the ears, the uh, shoulders and the hips all on one 
plank. You can also do this leaning against a wall, but take care to drop your chin and then slide it back. You imagine like you're giving yourself one extra chin, just one. So we tend to, when I tell people to take the head back, they do this, and that shortens the back of the neck. Keep the back of the neck long, chin softening in just a little bit, moving that hyoid bone back is what we want to do. So you can relax the work, see what your neutral head is, and then draw it back just a little bit. And this is something you can really practice throughout the day. Anytime you become aware of it, drawing the chin back just a little bit. And the back of the head lengthens upwards. All right, so that's your homework. You can do that as much as you think about it. All right, let's take a side stretch. We work down the spine a little bit. Take the left hand down to the floor, reach up with the right arm, right hip grounds. Reach and extend up and over. With the inhale, lift and lengthen. Use the breath to find space. With that exhale, extend. Again, up and over. Reach and extend. And if you've got really bad shoulder stuff where the shoulder doesn't come up, you can keep it down, just finding the length, finding the extension of the side waist, or take the arm wherever it feels appropriate for you. We'll take it back to the center and we'll take the other side. Root that left hip down, lengthen through the right side waist. Even if you can't get the arm up, find the space in between each rib, up and over. With that inhale, create some more space or breathe into some space. And then with the exhale, move into the space. And roll out through the shoulders. All right, so uh, we're gonna stretch the legs out here. You can still do this if you're on a chair, but you'll scoot to the edge of your chair uh, so you can hold on to the back of the chair. You're gonna ground the palms down, extend out through those heels. If you can't straighten the legs here, well, no, you will be able to if you're leaning back. So keep those legs long, drop the thighs, walk those hands back, squeeze the elbows in. Drop your chin towards your chest, elbows squeeze in, and then pull the back body in. Keep your neck loose, squeeze the elbows in. We wanna really pull this back body in. I don't know what my shirt is doing. If you can see how much that back body is pulled in, chest is lifted, and observe the breath. Anytime you move into a back bend, we work into the shoulders, it can become very claustrophobic. So if you can't breathe, you're doing it right. <laughs> and ease up a little bit. Lift that chest, elbows in, chin is loose, jaw is soft, neck is loose, and drop those thighs. And then you can relax the torso and bring it back to the center. All right, we're gonna take the fingertips to the shoulders. Bring the elbows in, and then reach the, or pull the elbows back. Simple action. And then we're gonna bring the elbows in towards each other, lift one elbow up and the other elbow down. So you make big circles with the elbows. And we're gonna switch directions, elbows together, take it the opposite. And don't worry if your brain doesn't allow this to happen. <laughs> it's very common. Just get the movement, doesn't have to be pretty. All right, and then from here, you can relax those arms, let those shoulders rest. And then we're gonna take those hands, bring them back behind the base of the skull. So like you're holding the back of the occipital bone, the base of the skull behind the ears. And one more time, we're gonna slide the base of the skull up, let your shoulders drop down heavy. So you're giving yourself a little physical adjustment here. The base of the skull extending up, shoulder blades softening down the back. 
Imagine like you've got a big heavy backpack pulling the shoulders down as you actively gently pull the face of the skull up towards the ceiling. Again, stay with the breath. And then relax those arms, relax the shoulders again. All right. And then from here, we'll take the palms together, bring the thumbs in towards the sternum. Use the thumbs to help guide your sternum upwards towards the ceiling. Soften the shoulders. Imagine the elbows are being pulled down heavy. Thumbs guiding the sternum upwards. And then relax or release the pelvis down heavy as if it's dropping deeper into the floor or into the chair that you're sitting on. And smooth breaths here. With the inhale, imagine the breath moving down into the space that your wrists are touching. Finding the expansion of the bottom ribs and with the exhale, let them soften back in. Inhale, find the expansion of those bottom ribs expanding broadly. And with the exhale, let them soften. Thank you for joining me with this uh, head, neck, shoulders. Hopefully you're loosened up a little bit. Namaste.